All right, Rapaya, can you check? It says we're live right now. Yep, check it. All right, just popped up. Very good. All right, Shalom, Shalom. <clears throat> First and foremost, before we get started, we're going to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Also, double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, and salutations to all you brothers out there. And uh, we're just going to get into a lesson, and um, it's based on, you know, these. Um, other camps, you know, slandering us, all right? And in particular, they love to call us bums and rapists, you know? And um, the main group that calls us that are the uh, members of the IUIC, okay? Which, um, hey, that, that's a false, you know, uh, a statement, all right? You know, it's just slander. And the reason why they do these things is because in, in the spirit, okay, you know, uh, we're beating them up, so to speak, you know, because every time they come out with some BS in the doctrine, you know, starting with the Apostle Tahar on down, we get on them about it. All right. And it's nothing personal. It's just, hey, look, you're, you know, you're preaching the gospel incorrectly and we got to correct it. It talks about being a, a defender for the uh, the gospel or for the word. I forgot how it's uh, um, exactly yeah. worded. Yeah. The Defenders of the gospel. Yep, you know, so uh, you know that's what we're doing, okay? And see, they get you know in their feelings and their emotions, and so the first thing that they love to do is to call us either bums or rapists. Which, what does that have to do with anything? You know, well, first off, I'll say this: we're not bums nor rapists, all right? But you know, I'm just making a point. Well, what does that have to do with the doctrine, though? You know, you're going off. You know. Take that, <laughs> you know. See, they, they can't handle that. All right, but um, I got a precept. Unless you brothers had something. Oh, go for it. Uh, this is uh Sirach chapter fifty-one, and I'll start at uh a one, a prayer of Yahweh Shai, the son of Sirach. Okay, this is not the Yahweh Shai, our, our Lord and Savior. This is just another man. All right, another a uh, 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 prophet. That was named uh, uh, Yahweh Shai, okay, who wrote the book of Sirach, okay? Um, a prayer of Yahweh Shai, the son of Sirach. I will thank thee, O Lord and King, and praise thee, uh, uh, Yahweh, my, my Savior. I do give praise unto thy name, for thou art my defender and helper, and hast preserved my body from destruction and from the snare of the slanderous tongue. Mm. And from the lips that forge lies and has been my helper against my adversaries. And you see, eventually, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, okay, is going to put your lights out, man. All right? You know, we don't have to do anything. You know, we're just going to keep preaching this word and do what we're commanded to do. You know? But eventually, right. all you guys, all right? That that they ha they have made you know false statements, false reports on us, okay? That slander our names. You're gonna have to uh, 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 answer uh, 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 to that, okay? Talks about uh, uh, those idle words, you know, in the uh, in the gospels. <coughs> Let me get that real quick, Salakia brothers. Man, this is uh, brothers. what'd you say, Ox Salakia? No, you got it. You got it. Uh, j just a fast one, Salakia. This is uh, Matthew 12 and 36. But I say unto you that every idle word that men shall speak, they shall give account thereof in the day of judgment. So these men have to um, give account of these idle words, okay? All these things that they say about us, they're going to have to deal with that when Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai or it comes back, when Yahweh sends his son Yahweh Shai back to this earth to judge this place. That's right. I got a uh, precept for you. Uh, since you went into the, the backbiting words, man, because uh, the thing is, in the world, you can kind of do that. You can talk shit. Uh, uh, not so much back in the day. Like, you know, people used to get their ass whooped for saying the wrong thing. But the more uh, uh, 
technology has made people uh, entitled and complacent, uh, uh, being behind a keyboard or being protected, they just feel like they can say anything. And, and, and most of these people don't even believe, you know, they call themselves Israelites. And, and a lot of them are women, you know, because it went from uh, uh, what the IUIC had said to now, you know, that congregation, which is mostly made up of women, they're not, oh, well, y'all just a bunch of grapists and this, that, and the third. You're going off of a narrative. You don't even know these men. You never met these men. But you're only saying this because uh, uh, you're being corrected. But this is um, Sirach 28 and 13. Curse the whisperer and the double tongue. So, so like, can I say this real quick? I, the only reason why these women are even saying anything is because their leaders are pushing that narrative. All right. And, and, and they're all in their emotions, you know, about, you know, uh, us talking about the Deuteronomy 20, uh, 22. OK, which hey, just to put, uh, uh, you know, put it out there. <clears throat> Deuteronomy 22, which, mind you, that that's a part of the law. OK, it just tells you how to deal with a situation. If they're, you know, uh, with, with the uh, the rape situation, all right? See, like, I'll say this. In this world, they don't, there's really no solution, all right, to that, you know, uh, 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 set activity, all right? And the scriptures tell you how to handle that, okay? Look, if you have a, a, an adulterer, an adulteress, they're going to get put to death, all yeah. right? If you have um, an adulterer, right, that's, you know, taking that woman... And that woman's either A, married, or B, betrothed, and she screams out. That that adulterer gets put to death, okay? And then, look, if that woman, she's not betrothed to anybody, she hey, she's a, a, a young maiden that, that hasn't been touched, all right? And the man, you know, deals with her, it tells you how to, uh, to handle the situation. That man now has to go pay the father, okay? What is that? Uh, uh, is that 50 shekels? Uh, yeah, you know, yeah, fifty yeah, shekels. Yeah, yeah, okay. All right, and then he has to take care of her, okay? And that that's right. a huge thing. Now that man has to take care of that woman. See, in this world, when somebody you know commits rape, all right, you know it's usually in a violent fashion, and then uh, that woman is just thrown to the curb, you know, thrown to the side, and now she's you know you know left to her own, and it's it's a done deal. See, in in, in, in um our law. That man has to deal with that. And I'll say this, that makes men consider things. That makes men think about um, the long-term, all right, uh, uh, effects of that situation. Now he's got to think about, man, do I really want to uh, 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 be a husband to this woman? I don't know anything about her. I don't yeah. know her her family. I don't know how she was brought up. You know what? I'm going to fall back on it. It takes a, it, it takes a irresponsible situation because – yeah, that's really irresponsible. It's just, you know, you, you're being hasty. That's why I say, you know, it, it's irresponsible because a, a woman is a responsibility. You know, uh, kids, that's a responsibility. Our, our whole uh, uh, heritage is about taking responsibility, man, and accountability. So, no, you can't just have your way and then be gone. You know, we have the account of Tamar, which a lot of people don't understand that, you know, because uh, essentially the dude was going off because, um, you know, the, because of the blood relation. But aside from that, even even she had said, you know, she didn't understand the law, but she said, she said the thing that thou is doing now is 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 is, is, is worse than the first, is more evil than the first thing that she did. But she had fell in love, and he just discarded her. You know, he didn't want to be with her no more. You know, when you get that account of Tamar with uh, uh what was the guy's name? Uh, I, I had to look it up. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But well, everybody knows the account when um uh uh, uh Absalom the daughter got got raped or whatever. You know. But in that situation, you know, the thing that the guy did that was actually really wicked, aside from taking somebody that was such a close relative, is that he had discarded her, which is which is evil in the sight of the Lord, man. But, you know, you go into the book of Judges, what do you think they was doing with those women? They took those women. When you, get, go, when you go into that scripture uh, in Deuteronomy, the word there is, 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 take hold, is, is lay hold of. But uh, the whole reason why that was even brought up, a part of, is because it, it identifies that a woman is a property of a man. She is not equal to a man. All right. Yeah, the brother said the brother said his name is uh, a a uh Ammon. Khan, Khan. Hey, Shalom, Shalom. Shalom, Shalom, brother. Shalom, brother. It's uh, uh it, um it's the brother Malak from the uh Detroit. Yo, hey, Shalom, brother. Shalom, Shalom. It's in uh uh no. 
It's in 2 Samuel 13 and 1. And it came to pass after this that Absalom, the son of David, had a fair sister whose name was uh, uh, T Tamar. And Ammon, the son of David, loved her. So there's the account. Yeah, it says, it says sister, but uh, that was really his daughter, if I'm not mistaken, when you go into the lineage, because they were all descendants of King David. You know, but I, uh, Absalom was his actual son. You know, but uh, what what, what uh, the guy had did was going on, you know, because he took somebody that was a close relative and then he discarded her. You yep. know, that's why I said he listened to a man that was basically a son of Belial, who was basically giving him uh, uh, the accounts to just, you know, take it willy nilly. First off, he didn't even go to the king. Second of all, uh, well, first off, like I said, it was unlawful because of the blood relation. And then second of all, he didn't even go to the king. You know, even even she was like, well, if you go to the king, I'm sure he'll, you know, she was trying to, even she was saying, do it in order. Even though, you know, the king would be like, nigga, what's wrong with you? That, that's that's going off according to the law, man. But uh, nevertheless, it's broken down uh, 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 by the apostles, and it was never said that we're about to go out there and do this. Exactly, bro. But it's all emotions with these people out here, man. You know, they still, as the LDI uh has uh, stated many a times, People have to uh, stop thinking uh, with the Western mind when they read the scriptures. You know, you've been taught a, 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 a false way of thinking. Hey, this is the correct way. All right. You know, the way to Yahweh Shemal Shai, which is the Easter, in general, Easter mind, a, 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 a mindset. Okay. Mm -hmm. You know, then, yeah, then, you know, too, you, know, you have certain people. They know we ain't doing that, man. They just because they hate hate and shit. They just want to put shit on you, man. That ain't true. Just like Esau, Esau do that. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Pizza? Oh, you guys mm -hmm. yeah, 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 finish this up real quick. Yeah, go ahead. I'm sorry. It says, "Uh, the Rock 28 and 13, curse the whisper, the whisperer, and the double tongue, for such have destroyed many that were at peace." <laughs> A backbiting tongue hath disquieted many and driven them from the na from nation to nation. Strong cities have to pull on the house of great men. Right? You got people that don't want to listen to us because of this, man. You know, because of that, oh, they, because of that persona, that, that stigma that you're putting on people to basically say, don't listen to them. And that's the reason why they, they push that. It's not even the fact that they believe it. It's the fact that they're trying to give a, a, a reason to, to have people not listen to us so that they should listen to them. But it's just. Exactly. Uh, and then, them too, like. I come no brothers in jail. Exactly. Right. It's show you ain't doing that, man. Shut up, niggers. Exactly. And overthrowing the houses of great men, a backbiting tongue have cast out virtuous women and deprived them of their labors. Whoso hearkeneth unto it shall never find rest and that will quietly. So eventually the Lord is gonna send those scourges on you people for, for hearkening unto it. And saying these things, man. Yep. Bearing false witness. That's what that is, man. Yep. Bearing false witness. You think the Lord not going to fuck you niggers up for doing that, man? Ooh. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah, to back you up, just real quick. Uh, uh, Proverbs 19 and 5. A false witness shall not be unpunished. And he that yep. flies shall not escape. That's it. They jumped down the nine. They said the same thing in different in a different way. God, Proverbs nineteen and nine: A false witness shall not be unpunished. And he that speaketh lies shall perish. So that's what you, you stupid niggas got to look forward to, man. Yeah. Bring it out. <laughs> I can't stand you two thirds, man. I hate you by the second, man. They can't wait till the Lord get rid of y'all niggas, man. Hey, especially they have the circumcision. They're the worst. Yeah. They, they, they're the enemies exactly. of the two thirds because they know the truth. They know the the, the Lord's will and do or not. You exactly. Because they, they they got the, the the holy Bible in their hand. They they go through a uh, don't these guys preach the law 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 all the time yep. fringes fringes fringes. Yep. Okay. Well, how about you uh, 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 look into the law uh, 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 of being a false witness, man? Fuck the exactly. Exactly. Yeah, that, and those are guys who I was really talking about. Yep. Yes, sir. Yeah, you fucking niggas call yourself Israelites. I had some real quick.
based off which what Lob said earlier, it's uh Sirach 36 and 24. He that giveth their wife, he giveth a possession, mm. a help like unto himself and a pillar rest. And this is what the scriptures say, man. You read you read Genesis uh uh 3 and 16 tell you what a woman should be serving to a husband man this is just what the scriptures say the lord said he that believed on me as scripture has said man. we ain't we ain't making this up man this is what the scriptures said man but you people because you're, you're just emotional and offended at the words of the lord man yep i got some for you brothers this is um second timothy chapter three verse one this know also that in the last days perilous times shall come for men shall be lovers of their own selves. And this is this right here, when, when we read these um adjectives, okay, they're about to get brought out. This is uh this describes uh IUIC, okay. For men shall be lovers of their own selves, you know. Look at Nate, you know, he's wearing all white uh, on a horse, he's in all the you know the the, the damn uh, posters. Got the nice garments on. Look at me. Look at me. Go gold and purple. Yeah. Hey, you know it's funny, man. You know, uh, I was out um, in the burbs. Shit, I, I, I don't know. I know them cicadas out there where you at. Cause I know yeah. they not in the city. They in the burnt suburbs. Things loud as hell, man. Yeah. <laughs> you know, uh, one of my um, relatives, he fuck. We, that Israelites, the, uh, the Israelite church, or what, what do you call that shit? Um, we call them J Brews or whatever. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And uh, you know, a couple of uncles into that stuff, into that too, you know. He, he was talking about Nate, them fucking guys on the street corner in purple. <laughs> Barney, Barney boys. Barney boys, yeah. Um, the BBs, man. The Barney boys. Right. Now you know I was acting stupid. I was like, "Well, I think I seen them guys before on the street." <laughs> <laughs> exactly, man. And, and just oh. getting to the uniform, man. Uh, I'm gonna quote it since you still got that scripture. Uh, but it, it, it purple and gold, those are King's colors, man. What's the yeah? What did I say that about that? He said, "Behold, they that wear the wear the, the soft raiment are in the king king's houses." You know, and. and that's what purple represents. It represents royalty, man. Not that right. it's wrong if you have a purple garment, but it's the reason why they all have a uniform, man. Like they got the yep. same shit. Trying to, yeah, we kings and shit, and we are kings, man. But right now we're in exile, so we're in, all trying to get back. To that. That's where oh. we wear wear these garments, man. It, the, the scriptures talk about how we're going to prophesy in sackcloth. Look, we're in the time of mourning. We're not in in, in our uh, kingdom, in our ruler right now. You know that that's yeah. We're in captivity. Yeah, we in captivity right now, man. Yep. Under under the under the worst nation of people that you the worst nation of people ever, man. You saw even yep. these other evil nations. Back in uh Second Timothy three and two, for men shall be lovers of their own selves, covetous, boasters, proud, blasphemers, disobedient to parents unthankful unholy without natural affection truth breakers false accusers okay false accusers you see gotta highlight that one incontinent fierce despisers of those that are good mm -hmm. hmm. sounded like how you are see here traitors heady high-minded lovers of pleasures more than lovers of the most high having a form of godliness but denying the power thereof and how do they do that by their works and their deeds okay it says from such turn away for of this sort are they um they it's like it for of this sort are they which crept into houses and lead captive silly women laden with sins led away with diverse lusts ever learning and never able to come to the knowledge of the truth and you know ain't just uh the laden women laden with sin that's the men too because lord say look at israel's come a delicate woman yep 
Mm hmm. Exactly. Hey, 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 you, uh, hey, but as the scriptures say, what, uh, uh, let the uh, blind lead the blind so they both may fall into a ditch, you know? Yep. So, you know, the Lord got, you know, these guys set up, but, you know, you know, it, we do, it, it gets real frustrating when you hear all these, um, all this, you know, slander on us. Oh, yeah. You know, that, that, that's what's really irritating. Because that can really destroy somebody's, you know, uh, situation up, right? Because you got to remember, we're still in this world. You know, we still got bills to pay. You know, we, we still got to uh, take care of our families. And, and you're sitting there getting uh, 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 brothers in, in, in rough situations. Look what happened to, to, to the elder uh, Aria out there in Dallas, man. You know, you guys destroyed, you know, his business. Yeah, that's why the Lord, you better believe the Lord are going to pay you back for it. To show you they don't fear the Lord. Or we're going to fuck you niggas up for doing shit, doing that shit, man. Then yeah. brothers got got families and, and daughters and stuff, man. Fuck you niggas, man. Right. Yeah. Like, hey, say this shit. Your, your daughter gets to, you get to, My father's doing what? She might not, you know, even though that's wicked, did, did she were to hearken unto that. But this, but that person. What does it say that uh, uh that basically that would be blood on their hands? You know, and then it also says if you take away the right of you know some take away somebody's livelihood, their their way of making a living, then you're a bloodshed. More blood on your hands. These are charges. Now, <laughs> like how you hear in the court, or when or, or when the officers are charging an assailant, they they, they mm -hmm. capture this uh this um this assailant for whatever crimes he made or, or made a mistake. You guys are being red charged, man. You gotta repent. Yeah. Hey, you yeah. gotta, you really gotta, you should be in fear. The fear of teaching these things, man. Hoping that you can get some of that off of you. Because that's, that's, that's been, it's, 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 it's a lie that has gone on and has been mass produced to where it's like, well, sometimes somebody might not even see the video of you reproving these things, man. Just like how we'll, uh, we've been in, you know, uh, uh, reproved something in the past and then maybe this scarf ain't seen the video where we, so we'll have to do X amount of, uh, uh, uh more videos and go back on the subject. <laughs> That evil out, man. But that's the blood that you had. You guys are putting on your own hands simply because you got reproved, man. You exactly. see how more wickedness instead of humbling down. It's, shit, I think about your brother, Ark. Come on. You know, when he was just walking by, didn't even say anything to the IUIC, and they just they're like demons because they had that, that that demon radar on. You know what I'm saying? It, 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 they just fucking saw a man of the Lord, or I should say, demon glasses. You know, or whatever. You know. They, they just seen your brother. They seen a man of the Lord. And they're like, hey, he's in GMS. He's a rapist. Get him. You know what I'm saying? That was wicked as all hell, bro. And he didn't even say anything. You know, what? Hey, like how you say, hey, what if a man's with his family or he's on the job or something? You know what I mean? Like, what the fuck, bro? Like, you guys are demons, bro. And, it, 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 and that's a false, a false accusation, bro. You have no proof that this even happened. And you're saying this. Get the fuck out of here with that shit, man. That that exactly. is wicked as all hell, bro. The Lord is gonna fucking deal with you, motherfuckers, bro. That IUIC shit is gonna be fucking destroyed, bro. That shit is they. The Lord is gonna fucking a, 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 uh, destroy that house, man. Yeah, he's gonna deal with you in the in the worst way too, man. Fucking punks. In the worst way. In the worst way. You know, Lord's king of terrors. He gonna deal with you guys in the worst way, man. Huh. But what's so bad about it, so like before we get back to the scriptures, is that um, the scriptures say even debate thy cause. If you're so fucking right, why are you cutting men off and getting emotional? All right, you want to call somebody out and say that they this, they that. How about you debate the cause and see in the scriptures, with the, if you don't call somebody out, which is what, you know, hey, that, that's a part of our heritage to call out, man. Iglesia, all right? If you're going to call somebody out, then, then let them testify. Because that's what we did back in the day, man. But you exactly. get all getting all emotional, calling them names and shit, and speaking all over them, man. The Lord is going to deal with you niggas, man. Yeah. It ain't, it's been broken down so many times, man. The scriptures, man. It's been broken down. You know, the law of, of rape has been broken down so many times, man. You niggas, man, fuck you niggas, man. You know? You know what that reminds me of, though? Because what the scriptures talk about how you have to have a, a two to three witnesses, right? Uh, you know, it made for some reason, you know, with that situation with IUIC, it made me think of uh, uh what is that? Um, what is that? Uh, uh, is that Esther? 
Where, where, where she got falsely accused by those um Suzanne. Oh, you talking about Susanna? Susanna. 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 Well, Daniel, Daniel was there. He spoke up. Uh -huh. The Water Brothers, but uh, Susanna. It reminds me of that situation. You had those uh those elders, those high priests. All right, that were actually doing you know wickedness, and they were blaming her. I don't know why it made me think of that. How how they're trying to blame us, you know? You guys, exactly. wicked is all hell, bro. Yeah, you just you just a bunch of niggers in pink in pink fucking garments, man. Right, because uh, hey, in that in that account, what happened? They were come, uh, accusing her of adultery, but they were adulterous. Yeah, you guys accused us of being a, a rapist. Uh, 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 um, uh, all, all the stuff they literally accused us of, they were doing, getting caught up with little girls. They were doing that shit, man. Oh, yeah. Oh, here's the new thing, brothers. I don't know if you heard this. This is what Eldi Yashawamba said, uh, um, that they're saying now. You know how they, they said that we're, you know, dealing with little girls and shit? They're saying now we're dealing with fucking little boys. What? Hey, man, you mother, bro, may the Lord fucking destroy that entire congregation, bro, straight up. That That is, bro, whoa, 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 you, you get, but here's the here's the fucking thing though bro you're gonna say that about us but you don't talk about uh, how esau has literally done that to our people bro and it's still doing to it to us man fuck you man yeah he's still right he's still doing shit you, you ain't saying don't, don't say shit about esau esau just he can get away with murder and that's it's cool mm -hmm. fuck you niggers Fuck you, N I G G E R, niggers and pink garments, and all you fucking false Israelites. Cause, but I, I'm gonna direct the about getting caught up with little girls. I don't know if they did it, but I know that one guy posted. He was one of the accusers that was also a part of that. He actually got caught up with, with uh, little girls, but I don't know about the IERC. But I know a lot of shit they were saying, like saying that we were moles. Well, shit, you got you, some of y'all congregation got caught up with a whole tranny, man. Exactly. And what about Poe Light, man? Right. Remember him? Yeah. Did y'all say y'all ain't do videos on this guy, Poe Light? Who's actually doing the shit? What, what, what about uh, 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 the Christian church? What about a uh, uh, Vocab Malone? You know what I'm saying? Exactly. What about well, the Poe Light? Right. You got it. Don't you got about like a billion members? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know, I'm just throwing, you know, a random number. You got all these members, but where are the videos at? Where are they at? Yeah. The second, you know, you, you see us, you know, uh, in person, now we're, you know, we're bums, we're rapists, we're sp uh, snow dummies. You know, you, you make all these, you know, videos. You, you, you get on a fucking podcast, all right, doing an interview with, with, with the enemy, bro. Get the fuck out of here, man. Yeah, you guys are you know, fucking. Hey, the scripture said it though. You're traitors, man. Yeah, you know the reason is because you know GMS get on their ass, man. They cut. So because they hate, they got they got a belly, a bare false witness. God, I got a precept. Thank man. Chapter five, verse ten. It says, "Blessed are they which are persecuted for righteousness' sake, for theirs, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven." Blessed are ye, the men shall revile you and persecute you, and shall say all manner of evil against you falsely for my sake. It says, Rejoice, exceeding, for great is your reward in heaven. For so persecuted they, the prophets, which were before you. And that's exactly what's going on right now, man. All right? Uh, like, uh, like, like, uh, like, um, Nate had said when when they had went, you know, they went to like, prove the with, with the with the apostles. Actually, the apostles when they had went, to, I think they went to like Greece or something. And, and well, how how would that prove anything? Because you you you're, you're traveling across seas where it says um, that, 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 that the the uh, the Pharisees were doing that that they'll go on long journeys convert one person and make them two more fold a child of hell with their wickedness. No, it says that you, you will know that you're one of the prophets coming back when men don't like what you're saying, and it's according to the scriptures, man. And then they, they try to against you and speak evil against you, uh, against your character. They, they, they assassinate your character, but they can't really convince you in the doctrine. That's a real prophet, man. 
A real prophet is not going to be liked until the end. A real prophet is not going to be liked by anybody but the Lord and, and, and other prophets and, and people that fear the Lord. Hey, was you reading Luke 6? No, I was reading uh, the Matthew 5. Okay, I'm getting Luke 6. It tells you that, man. Wait, there's more to that? You want to finish, brother? Go. Uh, no, that's, that's pretty much it. Okay, here you go. This is uh based off what you said. This um. Luke um, 6 and uh, let me see, 21. It says, Blessed are ye that hunger now, for ye should be filled. Blessed are ye that weep now, for ye shall laugh. All right. It said, like, you know, scripture say, um, the earth, the, 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 those who serve the Lord is in mourning, the, the world is rejoicing. The Lord's going to flip it. The world gonna be in mourning, and the men of the Lord will be serving y'all by Shimei Alshai. Truth, truth, and sincerity, they gonna rejoice. The Lord's gonna turn around real soon, and, and we already rejoice anyway, man. These people are already going through it, man. It's still the green tree. All right. So it says, uh, verse twenty-two: Blessed are you when men shall hate you. When they should separate you from their company and should reproach you and cast out your name as evil for the son of man's sake. That's them cast out you. That's part of it, man. Calling you rapists and all that stuff. Cast out your name's evil. You know. So it says, uh, Rejoice ye in that day and leap for joy, for behold, the reward is great in heaven, for in the lack matter did their fathers unto the prophets. So, so say rejoice. You're going through them things, knowing that the Lord's know that the Lord's dealing with you. Your name is great in heaven, as the scripture says. You know, but won't you thou rich, for you have received your constellation, man. That's them, that's them IUIC guys, man. Yep. Cause they, they love to uh say that we're bums, which is crazy because brothers have jobs, brothers are you know, owners of businesses, and I'll say this, this doesn't even matter, okay? Right. But it's just to make a point. Brothers, you know, are, are in good, you know, uh, positions at their jobs, but what are you talking about? That makes no yeah. sense, man. That That's ridiculous. Right? I, I got a whole family I got to take care of, man. What are you talking about? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Hey, hey. And as you see the last streams, brothers sitting in his car, man. How the hell you had that car without no money? Exactly. And it's a nice one, <laughs> too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you know exactly. like I said, don't, it, 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 who cares, man? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it just There's proved the point, point that they point. bunch of like that. Right, it's just punch proved the point that they're a bunch of liars. That's all. Bunch of fucking liars, man. Hey, Brother's sitting um, in his house right there. I'm sitting in my 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 house. Brother's in his house. How the hell? How the hell? You wouldn't even have no place to live in if you was a bum. Exactly. Fuck it I, is, man. I got uh, this. Let me, let me, oh, can I finish this real quick? Con, con, so it's, no, no, you good. So it says, um, war, war to you that this is Luke 6, 25. Oh, war to you that fool for you shall hunger. War to you that laugh now for you shall mourn and weep. Mm. War to you when men shall speak well of you, so did their fathers unto the false prophets. These guys don't get scoffers, man. Everybody speaks well in them. They got women in their congregation. You know, a woman definitely gonna hate hate this this truth that you bringing it in direct. A woman definitely gonna hate it, man. Exactly. Yep. You know, so they say, well, "Won't you speak well for let's say uh, so unto their fathers to the false prophets?" And that proves they just that false prophets, man. Mm-hmm. No, and Lord not dealing with you after you guys, man. It, it'll be it'll be it'll, it'll be well understood in due time that the Lord ain't dealing with you nigg niggers. Yeah. And the scriptures says, then shall it be known who are my chosen, you know. Wait till yeah. wait till make of troubles in, in full blast, you know. Yeah. Fucking black Edomite. Those who call themselves Israelites, like say uh, circumcision. 
that's false or profits is going off not following this to the best they ability. You're black Edomites too, man. Yeah. You're not Israelites, nigga. Nigger. Yeah. And really, it's a it's a spiritual hatred, man. It's a spiritual is it? Uh, uh, aside from you hating your brother, it's, it's it's like how they say somebody's hating, envious in the world, man. Because you can't break these things down. You want to hate on other men that's actually breaking it down the proper way, man. You know. That's it, bro. That's it, bro. Yeah, I mean, because like you said, um. These guys came stop eating pork, man. So they see that you don't eat it. They get envious of that, man. So they gotta find something on you, you know. You think you better than me, so they gotta find something or uh, uh, even lie, you know. <laughs> yeah. You know. To make themselves feel better or whatever the case may be. Man. And with the situation with these other camps. It reminds me of the whole uh, um, relationship between King Saul and King David. King yeah. Saul was just envious, all right, because yeah. the spirit was on uh, uh, King David, you know? So he did everything in his power to try to X him out. And what yeah. ended up happening to him? He ended up getting X'd out, you know what I'm saying? Exactly. Say, say what, that there was war between uh, the house of Saul and the house of David? And the house of uh, Saul uh, uh, waxed weaker and weaker, and the uh, 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 and the house of David grew stronger and stronger. Yeah, and hey, that's it, that. bro. That's it. They just had the house of Saul. You're right, man. Yeah, that's all. Uh, that's all they are, man. You know, and if they, they we the, that whole house of Saul, house of David situation has been happening from generation to generation. Really, what it is is it's the battle of good and evil. All right, between you know. Uh, the righteous of our nation and the, the wicked of our nation, you know? Yeah. yeah. But um, I got something for you, brothers. Balance. Lord's about balance, man. Yeah. I got uh, James chapter 2, verse 5. Hearken, my beloved brethren, had not the Most High chosen the poor of this world, rich in faith? Right? See, since they want to call us bums so much, all right, cool, I'll, I'll be a bum. The scripture just says right here that the Lord has chosen the poor of this world, rich in faith. And look, we, we got faith, man. That's all that matters. That's the real currency anyways right now is faith, you know? Because what does the scripture say in um in uh, 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 Second Ezra, the ninth chapter, I believe the 7th and 8th verse, it talks about how you're going to um, basically be saved through your what? Your, your, your faith and your works, you see? Like it, you know that that that's what's gonna uh, save you. Not not uh, uh, a huge congregation and, 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 and um, having a bunch of money, all right, and, and making somebody look bad. That's not gonna brothers, save you. That's not gonna deliver you. That bung you? Yeah. yeah. Oh, kind of. But um. What's up, brother? Shalom. <laughs> Shalom. But it says here, and heirs of the kingdom, which had he has made. It's so like he has promised to them that love him. And I'll say this. You guys really don't love Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. All right? Oh, yeah. You don't no, they don't. The commandments of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. And what, what did Yahweh Shai say? Lo, lo, love your neighbor? You know? Yeah. You, you you don't love us. You hate us. You 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 yeah. all slander us. You put us down. You know, you, 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 you do all sorts of evil to us. While all we're doing is showing you true love, which is what? Rebuke and reproof. Okay, that's that's a part of the law. We're actually following the laws that you guys talk about so goddamn much, man. What say uh what let me see uh open rebuke is better than secret love? Con. That's in Proverbs, was it twenty seven five, man? And show you show they don't love the Lord. They don't even push his name, man. They say you call him any old thing, man. Wicked, bro. Just show you they don't they don't love the Lord or 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 or, or, or they people, man. They not even give them the, the, the name the, the, the call upon them when they in trouble, man. Talking about you call them any old thing. How about I call you any old thing? They your name's not the thing. Your your name is Rabbit Teeth. How about that? Exactly. Rabbit Teeth. That's what I'm call you. I got a precept. This is the okay. Saint Matthew chapter twenty three verse thirteen. It says, 
two, actually uh, starting at verse 12. It says, Whosoever shall ex exalt himself shall be abased. He that humble himself shall be exalted. The war scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites, for ye set up the kingdom of heaven against men. For ye not in yourselves, not as if ye them that are entering the way. So exactly, man. Y'all yeah, don't want to hearken and teach these things, but, and you know, it, most of you know it to be true. At least the heads do. But yeah, coming to listen up and, uh, and slandering our name, you know, simply because you're not teaching this. And all you is, is humble and repent and teach the same thing, man. Yeah. Like I said, at least the heads know, but they took that bag, man. You know, you took the bag. You, you can't you can't teach the name or, or teach the truth. Talking about you can call the Lord your play yogurt, man. That's so that's actually blasphemy. That's disgraceful in the eyes of the Lord, man. Yeah. Giving his name over to uh, 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 Baal, man. Like it's for not. You below the name of the Lord. Like it's for not, man. Thing. That's wicked. The Most High said that uh, he gave one. This is his name forever. I am that I am. Yahweh. Open your uh, 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 testify your Savior openly. I think was that Second Ezra. You know, they did let them praise his holy name. All these scriptures touch you, man. Proverbs eighteen ten. You know, uh, the name of the Lord, the strong power, and the right from his uh, input and his safe. What the punk, bro? His goons are just a bunch of punks, bro. Hey, not suck you sound going in and out. Oh, Salak, you my bad. I uh, got my phone away yeah. from because my phone's about to oh, no. die. But I said, uh, uh, uh Proverbs uh, was 18 and 10 it says that the name of the Lord is a strong tower and the righteous runneth into it and it's safe. And it says, uh, uh um, no, that's why I said it. It just said, uh, Nate and his goons are just a bunch of punks, bro. That's why the Lord's gonna deny him because he he denies the Lord. Because yep. in, 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 in how are you denying the Lord by not uh, 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 saying his name, by making yep. that uh, basically a mystery? Yep, exactly. Then he was teaching it, man. Years ago, video old videos him teaching it. Then now, all of a sudden, now years later, we don't know what the name is. Yeah, the best break, one of the best breakdowns in Israel. That that the Lord is is is, is cold, man. Yeah. Now now you you shifting uh, uh uh the narrative to say, oh well, that don't matter. That, it, it, that's crazy. Yeah. Hey, what scripture say? Mellow not with them that's given to change, man. Yeah. Let's tell you something right there, man. I got that second Ezra. If y'all want, want to bring it out. It's the second Ezra chapter two. I'm gonna start at verse. Uh, uh, I'll just start at verse thirty-four. It says, "And therefore I say unto you, O he, O ye heathen." This is talking to Israel. It's not talking to the actual heathen. But this is how you know that we were going to be calling ourselves uh, 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 by other names in our captivity and forget forgot our heritage. O ye heathen, that hear and understand. Look for your shepherd, because our our shepherd is the Lord. Man. You know the only uh the only uh 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 of uh, uh, Yahweh Shai's fold are what it's man. It's like scattered to look like the other nations and call themselves after the other nations' name, man. But are uh by, but are, uh, according to lineage and spirit, you know the spirit bear with that we are most high. Their line goes back to Israel. It says he'll give you everlasting rest, for he is not man that the end of the world so that's how you know that this is talking about uh right now be ready for the reward of the kingdom for the everlasting light shall shine upon you forevermore the everlasting light is what we're teaching right now all right that we come back we repent we follow the lord in spirit and in truth what he did we try to uh, practice that to the best of our ability we teach the lord was <laughs> you know the order of the household the name first and foremost all right this, this guy's come out with this 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 so-called white man is going to come out with a device that this guy place all financial systems and he's all right 
because this is the for the doctrine, all right? And it's, and it's going on. It says, uh, uh, flee the shadow of this world. So we're not supposed to be reconciled with this world, man. It says that the fellowship of this world is enmity. So when you got guys calling us uh, uh, snow, uh, what are snow dummies, and then we're we're we're, we're the, the GMS, you know, like call it GMS or, or a bunch of bums and shit like that. Well, we work jobs, but we we work. It says uh, labor not to be rich. How about those scriptures, man? You know, you got a this guy got a multi uh, a million uh, business going on, but you got your whole congregation a part of this. Instead of teaching the truth, our job is to come out and teach the truth, man. We're not the, it says, we the shadow of this world and anything that, that identifies with it. Man. We're not here to set up corporations and brothers got their little businesses or however they, they, they get their, uh, their their finances in order. That's cool, man. But this word is what we're about. It's about centering around the word. The word. And we don't, you ain't got to, you'll see a bunch of promos on here. Oh, yeah. Brother, make sure you get the, the, uh, uh, the, 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 the Galia, you know, make sure you get, the, I'm sorry, the solid Galia, you know. But, you know, the, 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 the treasures of the kingdom. You know, it's my new smoothie coming out. You don't see us uh, promoting anything like that and making it with the truth, man. Whatever a brother does with the parts with that, that's on his own time, man. But, uh, exactly. Huh. You know, he ain't putting it all on YouTube and shit, man. Huh. It says, receive the joyfulness of your glory. This is the joyfulness of our glory, which is made perfect through sufferings, man. And we're going to be persecuted. You know, your family might come against you, or you might have trouble at the job, even though you you you, you know you yourself you're being circumspect, you're trying to be on your P's and Q's, but you're still catching hell, all right? And you're you're bearing it. This is this is what we're going through because you know what? Like the, the brothers have uh, quoted that second there's 16 chapter earlier, you know, then it shall be known who are my chosen. The Lord is preparing us for, for more persecution. And if yeah. you're not going through it right now, you about you're not gonna be able to make it through that time that's about to come, man. But uh, aside from that. It says, I testify my Savior openly. What's my Savior's name, man? Yahweh yes, Bashem, Yahweh Shai. Yep. Jacob, yo, play yogurt. It ain't Christ. Right. Like, like I said, man, shit. Well, if somebody called you by your name, uh, you can't do that. But you can do that to the Lord. Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai. I like to say, uh, why, why I just call your ass rabbit chief? Man? Or give yourself a Hebrew name. A Hebrew right. name, but exactly you know, the Lord, uh, uh, a Greek name, the English, yeah, name. they got right, <laughs> yeah, they got a Hebrew name, right, but the Lord don't have it. Man. This is a, a Ecclesiasticus, also known as Sirach, chapter 17, verse 10. And the elect shall praise his holy name, all right, that tells you right there, man. There's a separation, the elect are gonna have the right name, you see. For you, for you new members coming in, waking up to the truth, all right? The name is very important. There's only one name under heaven that we may call to be saved. And it's Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. None else. But this is what Banya put up. This is Philippians chapter 3, verse 18. For many walk, of whom I have told you often, and... Rapaya. He must have got a call or something. It froze. I think it let me read it for him. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, come on, I'll pick it up. This Philippians 3 and 18. It says, For many walk of whom I have told you often, and now tell you even weeping, that they are enemies of the cross of Hamashiach. So individual teaching a false doctrine or not teaching the name or fall out or scoff. To come against the truth, they're enemies of the cross. It says, whose end is destruction, whose God is their belly, whose glory is in their shame, who mind earthly things. And when you examine these other camps, they mind earthly things. You know, the scripture tells us that uh, uh, if you don't curb your desires and lust, that could be your destruction. When you look at these other camps, they don't put the seriousness and teach and preach the seriousness, the perversity, and the totality of what it means to walk worthy and serve the Lord and call on a true name. Everybody got a lot of people calling a name, but a lot of people that call on that name is not going to make it. Why? Because they're not walking worthy. They're being led astray by false doctrine. And it says, for our conversation is in heaven. From hence, also we look for the Savior, the Lord, Yahweh Shah Hamashiach, which is the true name of the anointed, because he's anointed to save us 
the scriptures is written about him. He come in the volume of the book and he performed everything that was written of him on earth in the flesh and perfected it. And he's the author and finish of our faith that if we do likewise, we're going to inherit eternal blessings. It says, from hence also we look for the Savior, the Lord Yahweh Shalomachinah, who shall change our bow bodies, that it may be fashioned like unto his glory body, according, it says, according, like according to the working, whereby he is able even to do all things unto himself. Hey, you got his uh, Hey, Akim, uh, my phone's about to die. Um, and it's like, okay. I got on 4%. Can we uh, uh wrap it up if possible? Yeah. No, kind of. Yeah, yeah. I, I have scripture unless you brothers have one. Okay. No, you got it, bro. This is uh Proverbs eleven and nineteen. A hypocrite with his mouth destroys his neighbor. And that's uh starting off with Nate, okay? And he destroys his neighbors, all right, by giving them what? A false uh, report. You see? Now they're being uh, led astray, all right? And, and there's a lot of blood on his hands, mind you. So his judgment's going to be terrific, man, unless he repents. Exactly. I, I really don't see it, but that's just my opinion, you know? I don't either, bro. I'm going to be honest with you. All right. And it says, but through knowledge shall the just be delivered. Okay? Through that knowledge. Look, your money isn't going to save you. All right? Your fancy garments... No, it's through this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. Hey, having that faith, your works, being sincere, that's what's going to save you. And that's what these guys don't get. It just hasn't clicked with them yet. But it's really not supposed to anyways. Yeah. I mean, they got they got a role to play in this movie too, man. Somebody got to be the false prophets. Yeah. Uh, hey, the scriptures say, Harley shall a rich man enter into the kingdom. And the reason why it says that is because you have to, aside from being prideful, because when you do receive, you, you get certain grasp. You become yeah, lifted up. Oh. And you have yeah, to you, fro you, you, you froze for a minute, Ox, so we didn't get full of what you said. Uh, yeah, no, uh, water. No, I, I was just saying that um, it, the riches make people lifted up in this world from receiving certain gratifications or a notoriety. You know, and promotion, so they feel like they don't have to listen to anyone that's that's not on their their social status, man. And, and yep. you have to you have to follow a certain narrative to keep certain things in this world, man. But that's why mm -hmm. I said that are rich, you know. But you but you be prepared to lose because you brought nothing in this world. Is it's certain you can keep it out? Exactly. Yeah, we just read that a while ago, man. Want to die rich. Took the bag, like I said, that money, you know, getting all them goodies makes you proud, man. Uh, uh, you, you brothers have anything else, though? Uh, no. Okay, Rapaya, Baba. Hey, and with that, we hope this lesson was edifying and exhorting, and we want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh. Shalom. 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 Shalom.